farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video. In this video, I'm going to do something that I haven't done for so long. I think I've actually never done it, which is upgrading a custom decoration to its max level. Now, I know what you're thinking, that how on earth you were never able to do it, you've been playing for so long, you're such a high level player. Well, don't worry, I'll tell you all about it. So we need to get started with my game. The first thing, of course, has to be the crops. I've got some sugar canes, soybeans, and garlic, so we need to harvest all that. I'm getting some XP and um, tools, which is good. Oh, I got three tools. I don't even know. Um, okay, let's see what we can plant. Kind of okay on the first page, although I think that I'm going to need more of the wheat and corn, so I need to plant that. Yesterday, I literally ran out of wheat for like three times, and I'm like, what? And there was no wheat in the paper, my neighbors were offline, and my friends replied to me, and I'm like, oh, what do I do? Where I'm stuck? Um, so since then, I'm trying to keep my own wheat. Like, I just don't want to be dependent on someone for the wheat. It's just not good. So yeah, make sure you guys have your own wheat. Make your own wheat. I'm sorry, grow your own wheat. Whatever. Okay, let's do our honeycombs over here. Can I do my, uh, no, I can't do my squirrels. My boat's not here as well. Let's make more dairy over here. I've been making a lot of cheese. We need chocolate popcorns and watermelon juice. I'm sure that I don't have a lot of juice, so we need to make that. Okay, where is the machine? It's here. Let's put a bunch of that, and then I don't even have any gala juice. Wow, I really uh, need to run my machines. Let's do the bakery over here. Okay, um, I've just been making a lot of bread because I make a lot of toast, so I need a lot of bread. All right, guys, now without wasting any further time, I'm going to come to the main topic of this video, which is the custom decoration, a topic that I don't talk a lot about, a topic that I don't cover. If you've been following my hated journey or you've been subscribed to my channel for like a long time, you will know one thing that I don't usually cover the topics that I'm not interested in. I mean, I talk about things in general, like all the things, you know, when they're like newly added, but I don't specifically do the things that I don't like. Uh, for example, the decoration videos. You will not see a lot of decoration content on my channel just because I'm not interested in it. It doesn't mean that I don't like it, it just means that I'm not really good at it, so I don't, you know, do the content of it. I've done a bunch of videos, but that's just it. I don't usually do it. The topics that I love, like making money, machines, um, you know, tips and tricks, um, just other fun challenges, I love making the content about those. So custom decoration is also one of the things that I was never enthusiastic about, that I never loved so much. I talked about it when it was first added. Um, I thought that the idea was like really random. It was just like Maggie. They were extremely expensive and I'm like, I'm never going to use them. Now the thing about the custom decorations is that you use a lot of vouchers. Basically a lot of green vouchers. I'm not sure if you use either vouchers, but Everything in the game is hungry for the green vouchers. Whether it's Maggie, she's going to require 100, over 100 green vouchers. And the same with the custom decorations. They require a crazy amount of the green vouchers. And I don't know what's up with the green vouchers. Like, why everybody wants them? Why everybody in the game is so hungry for these freaking green vouchers? I just don't understand it. So the custom decorations were added into the game back in 2020 for the first time, spring 2020 update. As I mentioned earlier that the idea to me was totally random. I was not expecting them to add a custom decoration. I did like, um, you know, the pitch behind it. I did like the little notion that, that we were able to upgrade our decorations. But I thought it would be better if you'd be able to customize all the decos in the game. How cool that would be. And not have like a specific category that we'd be able to upgrade. Nonetheless, this part or this feature was never my favorite, and that's why I don't talk about it. I don't have a single custom decoration in the game to the max level. I'm gonna show you guys my custom decos collection. That's what we're going to be doing in this video. So first, I need to go into the edit mode and we need to um, organize my farm because I have a lot of stuff that I don't even use. Okay, I'm finally back to the clean layout and now's the time to show you guys my custom decorations collection. So basically, custom decorations, I believe, unlock at level 70 or 72. You get your first uh, custom decoration by Alfred and then you do use the blueprints. A lot of people ask me what the blueprints are. Blueprints are just like your expansion permits for the decos. You use the expansion permits. Ew, I have zero. What? Anyways, you use expansion permits to open the land across the road. The same way you use the blueprints to uh, upgrade your custom decorations, you can get the blueprints from the farm pass, uh, from the valley, and sometimes in the mystery of the chest boxes. I'm not really interested in the blueprints. I never choose them. 
custom decorations are just not my favorite. But today, we are going to upgrade a custom decoration because I do kind of miss them. Okay, so originally, there were just like two types of custom decorations. We basically started with a tree, uh, but now we have a lot of uh, different custom decorations. We have a gardener's decoration. We have a stonemason's decoration. Uh, we got these pedestal decorations, which are totally gorgeous. Even though I'm not a huge fan of them, I think they are gorgeous. They look very beautiful, and they can be a perfect part of your farming decoration and designing. Again, the custom decorations are meant specifically for those people that are into designing their farms, which I'm not, so I never cared about them. But I think it's interesting to see what people do with their custom decorations. Okay, so pedestal decorations, and then we got these yard decorations. So in total, we have four types of custom decorations. Gardeners, stonemasons, uh, pedestal, and the yard decoration. You do get a lot of the custom decorations from the farm pass. The reason why I have a lot of the custom decorations is because I've been playing the farm pass, I've been purchasing it, um, so yeah, that's the reason I have it, but as you can see that I never upgrade them. This is the stage number one. Once you put them out on your farm, this is how they look. I believe this is the stage two, maybe, or like stage one. Um, I stopped upgrading them because they were costing a lot of green vouchers. See? 100 green vouchers. Okay, I'm not crazy. Another reason is that I was saving my green vouchers for Maggie. She was my main goal. I wanted to complete her first. I wanted to get all my pets. And then I wanted to focus on the things, you know, like the custom decorations because they're not really important. But that's just my playing style. You might have yours. It varies, of course. Okay, so a lot of custom decorations. Um, the yard, I've got the tree over here, I've got the stonemasons. Some of them I've upgraded to like a bunch of levels. They're not upgraded to the max level just because I never had enough green vouchers. I really need a green vouchers factory. If you guys want to give me a gift, please give me the green vouchers. I would appreciate that. Okay, so hmm, that's a lot of decos. That's really a lot of decos. And I don't know where to start or what to do. So what should I upgrade? What should I upgrade? I think this would have been better if I was doing like a live stream, but I guess it's going to be my choice. So we need to start from level one of a deco. Now my favorite ones are the pedestal decos. I love, love, love them. So you can see that this one I've already upgraded to level three. Uh, this has been upgraded to level two. I think I'm going to start with, you know what, let's do a pedestal decoration. Yeah, we're going to start with this one over here. Okay, so this is the first stage. You tap on it. You can also read how this is going to work. Uh, you can create beautiful designs with the decos like you can see over here. Uh, okay, so let's um, start. Now, I have a choice over here, classic, floral, or rustic. Um, what others do I have? I think I already have like a classic one. Mm, let me put it out. Yeah, I do have this one, which is like the classic. So we need to do the floral. I think it's kind of pretty. Now you can choose your color, yellow, pink, gray, beige, whatever you want to select, of course, pink. And it also tells you how this could look in the future. So the first upgrade is 15,000 coins. I know it's not expensive, but the deco is not even that pretty. It's going to get a lot expensive. Just, just keep watching. So we have a bunch of flowers that I can choose from. I think I'm going to go with the, uh, the daisies look really good. Maybe the tulips. Yeah, I'm going to go with the tulips. And of course, we can select the color. Um, the combination of the red and pink is its very cute. I'm going to go with the red, 55,000 coins. You can tell it's very expensive, but I don't care about the coins. I already got like over 34 million, never used them. Now we need to select the boundaries. So stones, floral, or the metal. I think the stone looks a little rustic, so we're going to do that. And then we can select the color that I'm going to go with. The brown looks pretty. So we're going to go with the brown. Hmm. 80,000 coins. I've already spent over 100,000 coins. You can tell. You can tell how expensive Haiti has become now. You cannot do anything if you don't have enough coins. Right. Next, we can do more um, flowers. I think I'm going to choose uh, the blue ones. The combination is very pretty. And uh, we can select the color as well. Wow. Purple is my absolute favorite. Now, see, this is the blueprint, the thing that you see with the coins. I have 16 in total, and I'm using um, two. Okay, and one fifty thousand coins. All right, we're going to confirm it. This looks kind of okay, to be honest. I don't know what I'm creating. I'm just not liking it. Not liking it that much. But, I mean, I'm the one that's making it, so why am I still not liking it? All right, what do we need to do? Bird bath, monkey, or a wand. Now the monkey is cool, but it doesn't really fit with the color that I've chosen, so I'm gonna go with the bird path. It just looks 
like I am in a wonderland. So we need to go with that. And of course we can choose the color. Um, yellow, no, purple, mm -mm -mm. I think it's the, you know, the color of the flower. We need to go with the yellow. Looks very pretty. Ooh, wow. I can't believe this is it. So I am not spending any green vouchers on this deco. Okay, we need to confirm it. You guys, in 2024, Hedy Every Day has officially completed his first custom decoration. I've never done this before, but I'm so freaking glad to do it. And you can see that I used um, five of the blueprints and a bunch of vouchers that I don't care about so much. All right, so this was a pedestal decoration. Let's do, I'm not going to do these. I've already done them. You know what? Let me do a, we don't need to do the tree ones. All right, now let's do a stone masons decoration. So here I'm going to go with the pagoda over here, which is 15,000 coins. All right, this is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually loving this journey, although it's expensive. It's kind of fun to select between the colors and all that stuff. Hmm, the dark gray looks, it kind of reminds me of a lot of, I don't know, Chinese, like Kung Fu fighting movies. <laughs> Love the color though. Okay, 55,000 coins. All right, it's like we're creating a villain's hut. Hmm, interesting. Now, what do we need to do in between? The gold one looks like some sort of a magic place, which I don't want to go with. I live on a farm, come on. Um, the dark gray again. Now oh, that looks disgusting. Maybe the white. Okay, cool. That was a lot of uh, vouchers. Um, Jaguarana flowers, Mongolia, or moss. What do I need to select? I think I already got the pink one, so I'm going to go with the Jacarana flowers, and we can select their color. That has to be... No, I don't want to do the blue one, to be honest. Um, the red one looks good. Two blueprints and 80,000 coins. Yes, yes, yes. Looks so pretty. Time to select a boundary. I think I'm going to go with the mosaic. Uh, the stone. I love the stones, to be honest. And that has to be dark gray again. See how expensive it is? I mean, oh my gosh. 100 green vouchers. If I can do more. The pond, and that has to be golden. Okay, I am going to run out of the blueprints, which is not good. I think this is going to be the end of my journey. Oh, I am so sad. Oh my goodness me, guys. I need more blueprints. <gasps> no, I need more blueprints. So, uh, this was level six, and can I do anything else? Let's do this deck over here. Why did I not do it? Hmm, let's do this. Okay, what do we need to do? We need to select, um, yeah, let's go for the blue. Again, that's a lot of vouchers. Oh my goodness me, that's a lot of vouchers. This means that I need to get more blueprints, and I'm just not very interested about them. Hmm, cool. I've officially ran out of uh, the blueprints, and there are no blueprints in the farm pass. There will be some in the future. I think in the future farm passes. I might get them. I think this is getting really interesting to me now that I don't have to spend my vouchers or coins anywhere else. I can start focusing on the custom decorations. These are going to be expensive. Um, I can tell you guys, but I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Do I need to do another um, 100 vouchers? I'm afraid that if I spent 100 green vouchers and then I ended up having no blueprints, it's not going to work. So we need to skip it, we need to stop for a while, and I need to get my blueprints, and then maybe I can start working on the custom decorations again. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on the custom decorations. Um, how do you use them? How do you decorate them? Do you love them? And what other sort of custom decorations would you like to see in the game? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more hidden content coming. Thank you so much for watching and supporting. I really appreciate you guys. Have a good day. Bye.